start with move-in day for local migrants. It's happening right now in an old Chicago public school building. Let's get straight to Nate Rogers, who is live for us on the south side this afternoon. Nate? Yeah, guys, that's right. In fact, Chicago police, as you can see right behind me, they've been here monitoring the scene after a small group of protesters tried to block migrants from moving in earlier today. Migrants apparently from Venezuela will be temporarily housed here at the former Wadsworth Elementary School. So far, we've seen at least three busloads of people carrying bikes, laundry baskets, and duffel bags into the building since this morning. Now, this comes as more than 5,000 immigrants have been bused to Chicago since last year. Over the last several weeks, Woodlawn residents have expressed concerns about the move. 20th Ward Alderman Jeanette Taylor saying, although we're a sanctuary city, the neighborhood is already grappling with high crime, gentrification, and significant homelessness. Taylor says she's been blindsided by the mayor's office on specific plans, and residents in this ward have many, many questions.